All right. Hey, love bugs. So I'm here with some messages really fast. I feel like there's this turning point, this major turning point. Um, Aaliyah, can you please stop? Please, please, Aaliyah. Um, there's this, mer this major turning point um, that is bringing, like you're nervous about it, you know? And you're needing to become more settled. You need to grow. Shh, Alea, can you go in there with Uncle, please? Go in there with Uncle. Down. Okay, I need this. Yeah, that's fine. Um, you're needing to allow yourself to become settled. It could even be like a Libra Aquarius Gemini. Or somebody with strong air energy, right? Who is experiencing this. Or somebody who's like waging war against somebody. Somebody does not want somebody to be pulled away from the family dynamic to go into the next sector of their experience of life. Every portion of your life is an experience. A lot of people just are so, God, it's like they're so trapped in a mindset of just mundane shit. And it's boring. You know, it gives boring, like, People just do and they go and they buy, they go to the grocery store, they go work, they, they pay bills, they 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 take their children, to, they, you know what I'm saying? It's just like very, that energy, you know? And it's time for people to experience life, you know? Somebody I'm close with said that, like they would rather spend their money on an experience than to go like shopping or do stuff. And of course you want both, you know, cause we like stuff, but at the end of the day, you know, yeah, I get that. I definitely get that. You want to have, you know, enjoy life. It's not even about having fun. It's an enjoyment, you know? The enjoyment creates the joy. If you're enjoying your experiences and not just being in them because, um, you know, it's something to do, you know, get the enjoyment and then allowing joy to be in there because a lot of people depend on other people to bring them something. So let's see, what are the messages? I know that was a lot right there, but let's see. What's the messages, please? Like talking to yourself. What's the messages, please? Mm, King of Swords always shows up. It's a practical, logical, reasoning type of energy that is being is being like pulled up out of you, you know, to balance you with the sophistication that you're aligning with. You're, 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 you're becoming more sophisticated. You're becoming more, you know, it's like, reminding me when, when I was young and my mom used to always say, sit with your, like fix your posture. Don't slump, don't sit. You always always sit in the energy of being um, confident. You know, it's not, and it's not to persuade anything or persuade energy or people that you are confident. It's just that you are confident. You know, and you're confident because you are independent. You work on your own independent. It's not even just about independence as far as money. It's independence and you are a free thinker. You're a lively, um, you're a lively, um, you're a lively, and yeah, Leah, you're a lively engager. You're somebody who engages with people in a lively way. You get joy from bringing people out of their slump, you know? People are, are obviously responsible for their own stuff, but you give enough to where people can do with that. Now, what they do with that is on them, but you give enough. You give enough. You give more than enough for some. And you don't have to give what you're not permitted to give anyways, but you know. So it's this energy of wanting to get into the space of you um, wanting to get into the space of love, of, of better treatment and allowing people to come into your existence who are better for you, you know, who treat you well, who aren't just, who aren't just coming around to, or talking to you to get whatever you, they need out of you. You know, it's a, it's reciprocity, even though the six of pentacles ain't there. Right. And it's an enjoyment energy with that knight of cups, like the water energy. Some of you guys could have some very, um, uh, some very strong, uh, cancer, Scorpio or Pisces placements that allows you to see deeper. It gives you a deeper perspective into things. You know, a lot of people just surface, they coast, they don't go deep. They don't dive deep. 
you know? So it's the energy of you diving deep and pulling out of the mud and like you do the dirty work. I mean, spiritually, a lot of people, Hey, I get it. Cause I, you know, like diving deep and doing the word, the, the, the grunt work. So people could come up and do like, that's your position as part of your purpose, you know? And it's like the four, let me see. What's the messages? Taking the time to, uh, I hear feeling, it's like feeling the presence of fire, the intentions, the, the it's a fire that's building up, building like when you first light a fire and it's a little low and then it builds up, it's like if something happens and just all of a sudden you spark up, some of you guys could be a fire sign. Somebody is trying to create devastation, to create energy. It's an energy or entity that's trying to throw, like throw something in the mix. This person is low, if that makes sense. Why is this? Somebody's very much tapped in to their pinnacle. Somebody's very much tapped into their money. Like they know where to go, like to get the money. They know how to, to, to bring forth the, the prosperity and the abundance. It doesn't have to look like what everybody else does. People go to work, they get a check. They know it's a guarantee type of money thing, but you know where to go to get the prosperity and the money. If that makes sense. This will, I know this is going to make sense to somebody. People that watch you have the patience to watch the whole video. What's the messages? This purification has been going on. Yep, because as soon as I say purification, eight of cups. The purification that's been going on, this, this energy of this... Um, this energy of this, this eclipse, this, this uh, new moon in Libra brought forth a balanced energy within you, clarity, clarification, clearing towers. Like I said before in Facebook, Facebook, people um, experience tower moments and you know, I repeat it again. I feel like a broken record, but the tower is meant to break away the old foundation to build up something new within you, whether it's your endurance, whether it's your emotional, um, uh, your emotional world. You know, your, your, your intelligence, your mental intelligence, your, your brain function, your third eye being performed differently where you can see things without having to broadcast your, your formulation of creativity or whatever. You don't have to tell people what you're doing. Let them think that nobody, and I just told this to my son or whatever the other day, you don't have to tell people things before they hatch. People will try to pry. Listen, I'm the type of person, you got to be the type of person that you cannot allow people to pry into your business. If you're not wanting to tell people, you're not, you're not permitted or required to tell people what you don't want to tell them. Like some people are just like pushy that way and you can see, you know, I'm not going to tell that because it'll take too much time. Okay. Let's see. What are the messages? Take it back. Get it out of your head. Like take take it back. Whatever was in your head that was telling you, oh no, 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 this ain't it. This ain't it. Work within the energy that is for you. Work with the energy that are for you. Tap into spirit and soul. People are so scared to tap into their shit. And it's so frustrating because they run to people that do it. Like tap into your stuff. It's guidance for you, it's your inner compass. Everybody has a soul. Well, you know, but everybody has a soul. So tap into yours, tap into your higher nature, start working on that Christ consciousness. So you can become what you seek. People are seeking things outside of them when they are purposeful in their own right. Yeah, there's a, yeah, this is joy. This is satisfaction. This is, um, this is receiving the fruits of your labor. That king of swords. I don't know if y'all got a king of swords stalking y'all, watching y'all, or a king of swords that's getting ready to come in and give you something. That they're getting ready to support you. The high priestess, okay? Pisces, Libra energy. Aquarius, even Gemini. I don't know. It could be a Gemini, a square, something they're, they're sending. It's something about, I don't know nothing, I don't know too much about birth charts and their astrology, but it's something about their, something is squared. Like, you know, maybe this is part of you. Maybe you have a Libra ascendant, okay? They're talking. Somebody wants to come towards you. They may be talking themselves out of it. Okay. I just heard something, but I'm going to leave it out though. Okay. I love y'all.